Also, as I noted in the opening segment, WWE will be remaining in the Thunderdome for at least another month. First reported by PW Insider, confirmed by Dave, company has been running out of the Orlando, Florida Amway Center since the Friday, August 21st SmackDown before SummerSlam weekend. The agreement was originally signed through October 30th, option to extend or shorten the contract with two weeks notice. Original contract called for the city to get 12500 for any Sunday pay-per-view, 10000 for any Monday or Friday events, 7500 for any days in which personnel are inside the building, and 2500 for a dark day when no work is happening. So they're paying one way or the other. They could have money. thrown NXT in there, but they decided they want a different look for NXT. Thus, they have two Thunderdomes, one here and one in the Performance Center. It also notes John Alba states that the arena is set to be open for voting on U.S. Election Day as part of the NBA players' arrangement with owners. While WWE does not run live on Tuesdays, how the arena is configured to accommodate both remains to be seen. Dude, I hope they change nothing. I hope everybody has to stand in line and get in the ring and cast their (laughs) vote inside the WWE ring. Amazing. As part of the residence, WWE unveiled the Thunderdome concept. I have been told... And this is unofficial because WWE is only officially stating through November. But I've been told that this is probably going until at least January. So, the original agreement, no fans were allowed in. I mean, maybe maybe they've adjusted the agreement and fans can slowly be put into the building like they're doing with the Performance Center, Capital Wrestling Center, whatever they're calling it. But they're in the Thunderdome for a while. And I guess they're hoping that Maybe we'll have that second wave and everything will be great by January. So that's the update on the Thunderdome. Here's the thing, too, when it comes to, and I'm not sure how big that building is, but I've been in some pretty big buildings that have auxiliary rooms and things like that. And, you know, unless it's the spectacle about being in the bowl of the arena, odds are because of, I'm assuming, the amount of voting centers that are down there and everything that are already established that they may be able to pull that off with minimal contact with some of the WWE stuff in the bowels of the building. Again, I have no idea, and I guess that takes away some of the effect of the visual of seeing people vote inside the building and the, you know, that sort of thing. But I, you know, there's a way that probably could be done where it probably could be at minimal uh, tie-in with WWE.